Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm here with Brad from Hillcrest Labs. This is our loop pointer, uh, which normally you use to control a mouse uh, in the air, uh, often with a TV or uh, with a multimedia center PC. Uh, but in addition to giving us mouse coordinates, the loop also gives us uh, information about its orientation. So we can detect things like roll, pitch, and yaw. And what we're going to do today is map these uh, orientation values to different musical effects. So we've put a loop on the neck of Brad's guitar here, and we are going to use it in order to trigger different effects that we've hooked up on uh, this Ubuntu PC here, which is running a small set of open source audio programs, um, mostly using uh, various jack programs uh, to control different effects. So first, let's see the distortion effect. Okay. So starting the normal kind of sound here, we're going to take the loop and move it across my body to change the distortion values. So you should be able to hear as I move around some changes. Now, we'll check out the roll, which is hooked up to the amplifier. So basically, leading backwards should increase our volume, and leading forward should actually make it a little bit quieter. So, doing the same kind of playing. And now we're going to check out uh, basically an air pedal uh, rather than an air dial. Uh, this one is called Scape. Okay. So basically we're going to take the, the head of guitar and bring it up vertical and back and then we'll actually turn on the effect. So if we're playing normally... All right, we got one more air pedal to hook up here, uh, and that's the chorus. Okay. So the same way we did the escape effect, we're going to go down and turn on the chorus. So what would you like to hear, Chris? Anything you got. There you go, there's all of them. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys.